Hey everyone, so I ran into a problem with my server rack. At this point in time, my servers are peaking at 14 amps on a 15 amp circuit. If I add any more servers to the rack, or if I push my existing servers any harder, I can potentially trip the circuit breaker, which would, of course, power everything down. Before I can expand the functionality of eSports Earnings and Let's Play Index, I absolutely need to deal with this. And here's my solution to the problem. This is 384 gigabytes of DDR3 L RAM. This is low voltage RAM running at 1.35 volts instead of the original 1.5 volts of regular DDR3, thus needing less power to function. I'll be replacing the RAM in my Elasticsearch node since it's the worst offender. I have a 2U 4 node server that I got for around $1,500 off of eBay. It's a very cheap price for what amounts to four servers in a very dense package, but there's a catch, and that's power usage. Large corporations have the money to buy newer and more power efficient hardware with more performance per watt. That's why they get rid of these older servers, even though they still work perfectly fine. And that's how I can get these servers for cheap. Each of these four nodes has two Intel Xeon L5640 processors, 96 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, and a single one terabyte Western Digital Gold hard drive. My plan is to remove one processor from each node and replace the 12 8 gigabyte sticks of RAM with six 16 gigabyte sticks of low voltage RAM. Same amount of RAM, but with less things consuming power. Changing the hardware around is simple enough that I can just do it at the rack itself. Running only one processor also means less processing power in each node, but the beauty of Elasticsearch is its scalable architecture on commodity hardware. To increase the performance in the cluster, you can add more servers, so removing these processors doesn't necessarily cripple performance. I won't go too far into Elasticsearch since it's a massive topic altogether. All you need to know is that Elasticsearch is used for game detection on YouTube videos for Let's Play Index, and it aggregates the data, such as the total number of views, to videos for a specific game. But it needs to do it with less power, so I'm heading over to the data center to change the hardware around. Here we are at the server rack. It's very noisy in here, but you can see all the servers running here that power eSports earnings and Let's Play Index. Here's the back of it. As you can see, I clearly did the cabling myself. It's okay though, there's plenty of airflow and I've already checked the temperature. The hottest servers stay around the mid 40s under load. What I'm interested in is this 2U server, which is really four servers in a single box. Each of these nodes is powered by two 1400 watt power supplies for redundancy, so if one power supply fails, all four nodes in the system will continue running. I can just pull out the node like so, and here it is in all of its glory. This is a Supermicro X8 DTT-F motherboard. Their X8 series uses Intel Xeon processors codenamed Westmere, so these are processors over a decade old, and this motherboard in particular can have up to 192 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, much more than what I need for Elasticsearch. At this point in time, the entire chassis takes up roughly 4 amps when idle, and around 5.2 amps under load, around a third of the entire circuit. I would like to keep both of these processors running to have 12 cores in each node, since it's also the most power efficient when using both processors, but the overriding factor is overall power consumption and I need to reduce it. The entire process is simple enough. Take out all of the RAM, remove one processor, and add in the low voltage RAM. In the empty socket, I'm placing a plastic cover to protect the pins on the motherboard. Then it's just a matter of plugging it back into the chassis and checking to make sure everything still works the way it should. I do this for all four nodes. The end result is four Elasticsearch nodes, each with 96 gigabytes of RAM and only one processor running. Power usage has dropped to 2.6 amps when idle and around 3.5 amps under load, roughly 1.5 to 2 amps in power savings without any noticeable difference in performance. This means it can handle the existing workload of searching through video metadata and aggregating numbers, though this may change in the future when I eventually need it to do more. It's hard for me to say what decreased power the most the removal of four processors, or the 48 sticks of RAM replaced with 24 low voltage modules. I'm just happy that I resolved a potentially catastrophic problem, and I now have the power back to expand the hardware in the rack further. 
On top of that, I do have some 1U Super Micro servers in the same X8 series that I can perform the same procedure on. These are servers which never have a huge CPU load, so they're even better candidates than my Elasticsearch nodes for removing a processor. I'll get to those at another time. I'm still experimenting with stuff here, and while I do have a few thousand dollars to throw around, it is certainly not that much when it comes to servers, so I hope you learned something from all of this. This is a learning experience for me as well, since it's only within the last three years that I began running my own servers. Please keep in mind that both Let's Play Index and eSports earnings are self-sustaining. I do not take donations through PayPal or Patreon. The revenue generated from these websites are reinvested back into the websites, and that includes the operating expenses and the acquisition of hardware like the memory you saw in this video. If you want to support these projects, check out letsplayindex.com and esportsearnings.com. Share these websites and this video with others. Like, comment, and subscribe because I'll be making more videos in the development of these projects. I don't need your money, I just need your help to spread the word. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.